Welcome to Zoho Books, an FDA-accredited tax accounting software and a powerful financial platform for your business. With the UAE edition of Zoho Books, you can handle all your accounting needs such as managing invoices, purchases, budgets, generating VAT returns and VAT audit reports, filing VAT returns and much more. In this video, we'll see how you can sign up for Zoho Books, set up your organization and begin your accounting right away. To get started, go to www.zoho.com slash books, then click the sign up now button in the top right corner of the page. Here, enter your company name, email address, contact number, and create a password for your organization. Select your business location as the United Arab Emirates or the UAE. Click here to agree to the terms and privacy policy and click create account. Enter your organization name. The business location will be UAE. Select the Emirates you're in and enter your business address. You can choose the desired language here. Mark this box to enter your VAT details. Enter your TRN and you can also choose to validate it by clicking here. Select the date on which you registered for VAT. You can configure additional settings for VAT later on as well. Now, click Get Started. You can choose to get a quick tour by clicking here. For now, we'll select the other option. That's it, your organization is all set up. You will get a verification email in your registered email address from where you can confirm your account. After signing up, you will be logged into the Getting Started page, which will help you navigate through Zoho Books easily. You can also find the corresponding how to videos and webinars for each section. First, Let's set up your organization. Click the settings icon and go to organization profile. You can upload your company logo here and you can select the industry you're in. Mark this box if your business is located in a designated zone. You can edit the company address here and if you have a separate address for receiving payments, you can mark this box and enter the same here. You can choose to configure the email preferences for the primary contact of your organization here. You can also choose to configure the physical year, report basis, language and other settings. After this is done, click save. Now let's configure your VAT settings. Go to settings and click taxes. You can configure your TRN here. Mark this box if you trade with other GCC or non-GCC countries. And also for reverse charge handling. Choose the date you wish to generate your first VAT return from and also your reporting period. If you wish to deregister at a later point, you can click here. Click Save. Now let's get back to the dashboard. On the left sidebar, you can find all the different modules in Zoho Books. Let's go through each of them in brief. The dashboard will give you an overview of your financial health. Under Items, you can add the goods and services that you provide in your business. In the Banking module, you can connect your bank account import bank statements, match transactions, and reconcile your account. In the sales module, you can add all your customers, you can create and send them estimates, and also create sales orders for the items that you sell. You can create invoices for your customers, and once you receive payments, you can track them under payments receipt. You can create recurring invoices to be generated on a regular basis, and if you have any additional credits for your customers, you can store them in the form of credit notes. Next, you have the Purchases section where you can add all the vendors from whom you purchase your items. You can add the expenses in your organization and also the recurring expenses. You can create and keep track of all your purchase orders and bills and you can also track all the payments made to your vendors through Payments Made. You can add your recurring bills here and track any credits from your vendors through Vendor Credits. With the Time Tracking module, you can handle project accounting. If you work on projects for your clients, you can add them here. You can also log time for different users under Timesheet, which can later be used for billing. In the Accountant module, you can add accounting transactions, including your manual journals, recurring journals, make currency adjustments. You can add all your accounts under the chart of accounts and also your budgets. The Reports module will consist of various business and accounting reports. For example, the Profit and Loss Report, 
balance sheet, cash flow statement, and various other reports which will help you get real-time insights needed to optimize your business. As an UAE business, you can generate important tax reports such as a tax return and VAT audit report. For any report, you can choose to schedule it, share it securely with your team, and also export it in various file formats to your system. Here, you can configure the modules you wish to enable on the left sidebar for your organization. Next, let's go to settings, where you can view additional preferences for your organization. For instance, let's go to your organization profile. Here, you can configure your organization settings. For example, you can choose if your business is registered in a designated zone. Additionally, you can change the language of your organization to Arabic if you wish. Also, under settings, you can configure your opening balances and you can add multiple users and assigned roles. We also have a wide range of templates in both English and Arabic languages. You can configure various integrations, explore the automation feature and do a lot more. Now that you have a basic overview of Soho Books, let's look at a few basic steps to quickly start your accounting. Make sure to follow these steps in order to set up your organization seamlessly. First, you'll have to configure your chart of accounts. You can do this by going to the accountant section and selecting chart of accounts. Here, you will have a well-defined list of accounts and their corresponding account types. If you wish to add any additional account, you can click the plus new account button here. Then choose the account type and enter a name for your account. Additionally, you can enter an account code and a description for your account. Click save. Your account is now created. Next, you will have to add your items, which are the goods and services in your organization. If you already have a list of items, you can import them from here. You would need to follow the file format and can also download a sample file for your reference. To add items manually, you can click the plus icon next to items or you can choose the plus new item button. Then enter the item name, unit, its cost and selling price and select the respective accounts to track sales and purchases for this item. You can choose to track inventory for this item by clicking here and choose a corresponding inventory account, opening stock and opening stock rate per unit. Now you can save it. Your item is successfully created. Now it's time to add your customers. If you already have a list of customers, you can import them by clicking here. You can also choose to add them manually. To do so, go to sales and click the plus icon next to customers or the plus new customer button here. Choose the customer type, whether a business or an individual. Enter the name of the customer and their company name. Choose their display name and enter their contact information such as their email, phone number and website if any. In the other details section, you can choose the tax treatment of the customer. Let's see what's under each of them. The customer can be in the UAE and either be registered for VAT or not registered for VAT. They can be in the GCC and either be registered for VAT, not registered for VAT. They can also be a business outside the GCC. Also, they can be in a designated zone and be registered for VAT and not be registered for VAT. If the customer is VAT registered, you can enter their TRN and also choose to validate it by clicking here. Next. You can choose the currency, enter the opening balance, choose their payment terms. You can also choose to enable the client portal for them from where they can view their invoices, make payments and keep track of all their transactions and enter their social profiles. Click here to add their billing and shipping addresses. You can add their contact persons and other necessary detail of the customer. Then click Save. Your customer has been successfully added. Similarly, you can also add vendors under the Purchases module. To make sure your account is intact and continuous, you would need to bring in your opening balances. 
which you can get by running the trial balance report in your previous accounting software. After getting this report, go to Settings and click Opening Balances. You can follow the steps mentioned here to enter all your opening balances correctly. You can enter the migration date, which will be the date on which you generate the trial balance report in your previous accounting software while migrating to Zoho Books. You can import your account receivables for the amounts you are yet to receive from your customers and accounts payable for the amount that you are liable to pay. Under each of these categories like assets and expenses, you will find the corresponding accounts where you can enter the debit and credit amounts. Enter the amount and continue. You can click here to import your opening balances. Click Confirm. Now that you have set up your opening balance, added your items, customers and vendors, let's see how to create your first invoice. Go to Sales and click the plus icon next to Invoices. Select the customer name. The invoice number will be auto-generated. You can also choose to enter it manually by clicking the gear icon. Enter other details such as the invoice date, terms of payment and the due date. Next, add the items for this invoice and select their appropriate tax rate. The place of supply will be determined by the customer's treatment and the tax rate will be auto-validated by the system. Add the customer note and the terms and conditions of your business. Then save the invoice. You have successfully created your first invoice. You can integrate with any of the online payment gateways and receive payments seamlessly from your customers. When you mail your customers invoice, they can directly pay you by clicking the Pay Now button. You can also choose to record payments from your customers manually. After the payment is recorded, the invoice status will be changed to Paid. Now, let's get back to the dashboard which will give you an overview of your financial health. Once you start creating transactions, you can view different metrics for your business, such as your total receivables, total payables, the cash flow in your business, your income and expenses, your top expenses, projects that you're working on, the bank and credit cards that you have added, and your account watch list. You can also view all the recent updates in Zoho Books by clicking here. If you use multiple Zoho Books organization, you can click here and switch to any of them. You can also access your Zoho account from here. Hope you've got a good overview of Zoho Books. In the description below, we've added a link to access our 14-day trial where you can access all our features for free during the trial period. So make sure to check them out. After the trial period gets over, you can choose to subscribe to our free plan or any of our paid plans. You can check out the pricing page link given in the description below. That's it for now folks. Have a great day. Thank you.